of you are new to uh, my institute, uh, what we do. So it, it all started a little over 10 years ago when I started watching children's uh, entertainments with my then toddler daughter. And, uh, you know, I had been in movies that some parts that resonated with women and I was very hyper aware of how women are portrayed in Hollywood, but I had no idea that there could possibly be any problem with what is made for kids. And uh, here I am watching preschool things and G-rated videos and immediately noticed that there were far more male characters than female characters in the 21st century that we're making and aiming at little kids. And I thought, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would we be teaching kids that girls are less important from two years old? Uh, and isn't the problem of unconscious bias something we're all striving to fix? You know, we're all, how are we gonna get more women on boards and more female CEOs? How are we gonna get the first female president? We've gotta get some progress here, and yet, we are training children from the very beginning that girls aren't as important as boys because there's profoundly less characters who are female. The male characters are the ones primarily having the adventures, doing the most important things. And, uh, and women, who are 50% of the population, are uh, not nearly represented as half of the population in the fiction that we're showing to kids, where it's made up, you can make it anything you want, and yet um, it's a very, very narrow and limited view of women and their value that we are showing to kids. So um, I didn't intend to make it my life's mission in the beginning. <laughs> uh, at first, I just started mentioning it to people. I thought, well, look, I'm in the industry. I, I meet with people every week. I could just start talking about it. I, I mean, I've been curious what pe what work people are doing on this and you know others' perceptions of it. So whenever I had a meeting of any kind, I would say, have you ever noticed how few female characters there are in movies made for kids? And every single person said, oh, no, 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 that's not a problem anymore. That's been fixed. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the thing is, though, they were very sincere about it. Nobody said, oh, that's not a problem, who cares? Everybody's like, no, 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 that's, you know, that is something incredibly important. We're hyper aware of that here. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, we work on it all the time. This is, you know, we're passionate about that here. And we made, and they would invariably name a movie with one female character, maybe two, as proof that gender inequality had been fixed. So, I thought something is really not adding up here. How could this? How is this possible? How can the people making it not notice what I think is so glaringly obvious? And so that's what made me think, I want to get the data, because I want to be proved right. Uh, <laughs> and maybe that will make a difference. And uh, it turns out it really is the silver bullet. It's the magic bullet uh, in this particular case, because People are absolutely, were not, even the people creating it were absolutely not aware of what they were making. Uh, and my theory is that we all have unconscious gender bias, including the people making children's entertainment. It's uh, traditionally been that way, that there's, you know, 